Lane's best college running back that's ever played the game. The impact that he's had on Georgia football, the SEC, is just unprecedented. <laughs> Sort of like no other. This has got 10, 15, 20. He's got 25. He's picking up three. There's more special. Great strength. Combined with his incredible speed, world class speed. I had off the hustle. Left terrible. Ran over. Ran a 45. Another one of 40. He ran over. There he goes. This one's gone. This one's gone. He was bigger and faster and stronger than anyone in college football. He was bigger and faster and stronger than anyone in college football. It's okay. It's okay because those kids had a problem. It's okay you took it out on me because it made me who I am. And I remember uh, saying to myself, uh, that won't happen to me again. I said, I'd never get beat up again. And all of a sudden, it, it like, bam, things just changed. All of his embarrassment, his anger and shame. Young Herschel trained to beat them all. I used to go out there and run on the railroad track. And I used to try to race the train. The train used to go by and I'd run. Push up, sit up, push up, sit up all the time. I was doing about 5,000 push ups every day and about 5,000 sit ups every day. Coach, Coach Tom Jordan, who used to coach my older brother. Coach Jordan helped me out a great deal. Coach used to tie a rope around my waist with a tire on it, put a 10-pound shot in, I used to have to pull that around a dirt track. In 40 years of teaching, I've never had a kid as focused as Herschel was. What can I do to get stronger? What can I do to get faster? I would say stuff to him just in mentioning it, you'd do it. You couldn't challenge him because he would not be denied. He had a TV on and he'd be down on the floor doing push-up. Doing him, doing him, doing him. He would never stop. I don't look at myself as transformed to an athlete. I look at myself as transformed into a superhero character. Like a superman that things just don't hurt him anymore. That's a warrior. When you don't think you can go, and you say, oh, just one more. But that's what the warrior is. He gonna take that punch and go, okay, let's get it on. Warrior someone that can go get it. In 1976, 14-year-old Herschel Walker entered Johnson County High School. He had a new body, fueled by anger within. Now he just needed an outlet. It all happened like turning on a light switch. Boom, we got it, here it is. And it's the whole package. It looked like a rhinoceros knocking everything down. He knocked his players, every player on the field, knocked them down. We threw the ball twice. We threw it out there to open the game, threw it off when the game was over. That was our two passes of the night. Third and 40 was sweet right. He played both ways. It was nothing to have 15 tackles in a game. Standing 6'2 and weighing 220 pounds, Herschel amassed a high school record, 86 career touchdowns, 3,167 yards in his senior year. Herschel carried Johnson County to its first and only state title, using a drive and focus foreign to most teenagers. I would get up in the morning before I went to school, go for a run, 
come back and take a shower, and I go to school. Then I go to practice. Then I go home and I practice again. Do my homework. Before I went to bed, I used to do more sit-ups and push-ups. That's what I mean by focus. You just mentioned that. First, you might better be, get your grades up if we're going to talk about college. Gosh, she's valedictorian all of a sudden. He would come home at night and uh, study real hard and lay on the floor. Sometimes I would go in there and wake him up to go to bed. He would fall off to sleep with his boot on his chest. From the kid teacher sat in the corner to valedictorian, from outcast to the number one football recruit in America, Herschel Walker had transformed himself. Fortunately for us, we got down to Tennessee 15 to nothing in the first half of the opening game. I remember there was about 92,000 people there, and there was only 2,000 in it from Georgia, and I think they put them in the end zone so they couldn't be seen or heard. And that was a chance start that we won't hurt you. Georgia down 15 to 2. 18 year old Herschel Walker entered his first college football game. 15 to 2, to the end zone for his first collegiate touchdown. He pulled right over our church, just driving and running with those big flies. Oh my God, a We were undefeated playing Notre Dame, who had all these big time guys. No back in the whole country had gained over 100 yards against the Notre Dame defense. That was a terrific defense. And you know, this is this little kid from Wrightsville, Georgia. They got an opportunity to play in the biggest game that's televised. People all over the world may see me play. The President of the United States, Jimmy Carter, native Georgian, is in among the crowd today to see the ball game. Here's Georgia now, first possession of the ball game. In the second play, I was running to the sideline and I got hit and dislocated my shoulder. They're working on Herschel Walker on the sidelines right now. If he's injured, Next thing, the trainer's next to me telling me Herschel's finished. I uh, know, that's not happening. Let me lay over here and you pop that back and join. I shook it off. I said, okay, let's go. Herschel Walker's warrior ran through the pain of a dislocated shoulder. His 150 yards rushing and two touchdowns earned him MVP honors and delivered Georgia its first undisputed national championship. No freshman in college football history had ever run for more than his 1,616 yards. In five months, Herschel had gone from a shy, unsure backup to the most famous man in college football. Penn State's best was enough. They defeated Georgia 27-23 to win the national title. But Herschel had finally done enough to win over the Heisman voters. It is an honor to present the 1982 Heisman Trophy to Herschel Walker of the University of Georgia. It should have been one of the greatest nights of his life. But something deep inside of Herschel won't allow him to relive it. I don't remember a lot of things. Like, people get upset because I said, I don't remember the Heisman Trophy, like the night of the Heisman Trophy. There's a lot of things I don't remember. I don't even remember that season. I remember our freshman season, but I don't even remember the season I won the Heisman. Situations like Herschel's, there was what we call a, a disconnectedness to certain experiences, to where someone doesn't always remember 
what they've said or they've done because the coping mechanism coming from the trauma that he experienced when he was a child. I still, when I let all my guard down, in the sense that I still had challenges. To the outside world, Herschel's only challenges were winning another Heisman and another championship. But Herschel was unpredictable, even when his future seemed so certain. University of Georgia running back Herschel Walker received the Heisman Trophy last December as the nation's top college football player. He said he hoped he'd be back to pick up another Heisman. Well, he won't. It was revealed today that he has signed a contract with the team in the new U.S. Football League. In 1983, players didn't turn pro early. The NFL wouldn't allow it. But a new upstart league, the USFL, came courting some of college football's best. And there was no one it wanted more than Herschel Walker. But it appeared that Herschel's heart was still in Georgia. And uh, that's why I decided now that uh, I'm going to remain at Georgia for next year. But it was too late. Herschel had signed a contract with the New Jersey Generals. And that signature meant he couldn't come back. If we'd have had Herschel, we would have won the fourth SEC championship and maybe the national championship. He would have set a rushing record that would never have been broken in the history of football. First of all, I want to welcome you as an attorney general. I tell you, I've been very much impressed with you as a man, as a player, and we're looking forward to a happy time. That was not a million dollar contract in the NFL until the USFL came about. So when I left to go into the USFL, it was the highest contract in professional sports. Herschel signed for three years, $4.2 million, delivering to the new USFL the media attention it desired. In three seasons, Herschel rushed for 5,562 yards. But in 1986, the USFL went under and he signed with the NFL's Dallas Cowboys. It was sad to me. He was by far and away the biggest star on a terrible football team. And he did the best he could for those first couple of years. And, and I will submit 86 and 87. I have never seen a running back take more punishment than Herschel took in those two years. It was unholy how much he was trying his darndest to be the star that everybody wanted him to be.